السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعزائي طلبة وطالبات الثانوية العامة الصف الثالث الثانوي uh, biology uh, session today about the lesson of female reproductive system uh, you're uh, presented by Mr. Muhammad Salim biology expert teacher first we want to know about the female reproductive system uh, uh, function and site First is the function of the female reproductive system for producing ova and female sex hormones. So this is the first function is producing ova and sex hormones such as estrogen and progesterone. Second function is providing a safe place for completion of fertilization and embryo developmental birth. And you know that the nine month of development for the embryo is uh, happened into the female reproductive system uh, the part of the uterus so it uh, providing a safe place for this combination of fertilization and embryo development till the birth okay uh, second is the site of this system female reproductive system in the female as we see this uh, system organs lie behind the urinary bladder okay behind the bl urinary bladder this is the front side of the female and this is the back side uh, it lies behind the urinary bladder as we see in the picture um, and uh, this firmly connected in this position with elastic ligaments elastic ligaments okay this ligaments allow its expansion during pregnancy. Do you remember the hormone relaxine in chapter two of hormones? Relaxine can make the uh, relax of the uh, bubic symphysis in this part of elastic ligaments to expansion during pregnancy. It's not the 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 relaxine is work as uh, make elastic ligaments relax uh, during pregnancy. So this is uh, connected with the hormones in chapter two. Uh, after that, we will study the structure of female reproductive system. Female reproductive system consists of two ovaries, two fallopian tubes, and one and one vagina. Okay, so. The first, the first structure or organ in the female reproductive system is the ovary, is the ovary, okay? And the female has two ovaries, right one and the left one, and they are connected with a tube, it's called fallopian tube. Fallopian tube leads to the uterus, and then the uterus has a cervix, and end with vagina to the opening of the reproductive system of the female. Okay. We will uh, talk about each part separately. First, the ovaries, and this ovaries is located in pelvic cavity in each side of the pelvic cavity, as we remember from the chapter one. Uh, in the part of the pelvic. Second, each ovary equals in size a peeled almond and the head. Each ovary equals in C size of a peeled almond, like a loose in ma'ashar, nafs al and has an oval shape like this one. And during the childhood of the female, each ovary contains several thousand of ova in various stages development. After maturity, about 400 only of the ova will mature during the 30 years of active reproductive life. So when the female is in burial, when the female is in burial, there are many immature ova. كبير جدا من البويضات غير الناضجة. They reaches for hundred thousand, for hundred thousand. Okay. After development and after maturity of the female 
uh, in the age of 12 to 15 years old uh, uh, maturity. So 400 only of this ova will be mature. OK, about 10% uh, 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 only. OK, during the life or active reproductive life of the female, this uh, years are called active reproductive life or fecundity years or fertility years. OK, where each ovary produce one mature ovum alternately with the other ovary per month. يعني كل شهر واحدة واحد من الأوفري produces one over only per month. Okay. واحدة بس في الشهر. Um, this is about the, uh, the ovaries and we can notice that ovary secretes not only the ova but hormones for regulating ministerial cycle and embryo development. Okay. So the second part is the fallopian tube or it's called oviduct. It has a funnel shape opening, funnel shape opening. الشكل اللي احنا شايفينه دوت دوت الفالوبيان تيوب or الاوفيدكت تمام. It uh, lies opposite of the ovary تبقى قدام الاوفري بالظبط كده to ensure the fall of the ovum in it. Okay. عاملة كده زي باسكت هي اللي بتشيل الأوفم أول ما تنزل من الأوفري تمام؟ So it lies opposite the ovary. Okay. Um, it has like uh, finger processes, like finger processes to catch or to receive the ovum and then transport the ovum to the uterus. Okay. Um, and inside the fallopian tube, there is something called cilia. This is the lining of the oviduct. It's called cilia. Cilia like the small hair that direct the ovum through it toward this, the uterus. Okay. So the ovum will move to the uterus. The third organ in the female reproductive system is the uterus. Uterus is the elastic muscular sac organ, okay, kis uh, adali lies in the pelvic cavity, found in the pelvic cavity, and it has a muscular strong wall, thick muscular strong wall, okay, to be contract and uh, relax during the delivery of the uh, baby, so it has thick muscular strong wall, and uh, line it from inside, line it from inside with membrane has a glands. It is called endometrium. Endometrium. This endometrium has glands that secrete uh, uh, mucus and that secrete or contains uh, vascular uh, blood vessels that feed the embryo. Um, and it is ended, the uterus is ended with the cervix, al-anuk al-rahim, cervix, al-anuk al-rahim. This cervical canal, okay, lead the baby, uh, lead the baby to the vagina in the delivery, and it has a rule in uh, deliver the spermis from the male reproductive organs to the uh, fallopian tube to make the fertilization in the fallopian tube, OK? So inside the uterus, the baby uh, or the embryo is formed for nine months, nine months, OK? So this is uh, the third part and the most important part for the female reproductive system. Uh, the last part is the the vagina. Vagina is a muscular tube, muscular tube. Its length about seven centimeter starts from cervix to the genital opening from here. And this is the vagina and it is uh, starts from cervix to the vagina. It is lined with membrane 
that secretes mucus, mucus gland, that secretes mucus fluid to moisten the vagina, to be moist, okay, to uh, make, uh, to facilitate the delivery of the baby in the last month, and has folds to allow expansion during birth, has, um, they has folds like this one, folds, okay, to be expanded during birth. Now we have a video about the structure of female reproductive system. We uh, said that it is found in abdominal cavity. Each ovary uh, ovarian follicles that transfer into uh, ovum. And there is a fallopian tube from the ovary to the And this is muscular check and uh, leads to the vagina by the uh, cervix. Okay, now we will study the TS in the ovary, transfer section in the ovary. As we notice that from this study, we can notice that the ovary consists of a group of cells inside the ovary, group of cells in different stages of development, and the ovum inside the graphene tube a graphene follicle, okay? As we see, uh, if we begin from here, this is the primary follicle at in, and it uh, grows uh, for forming growing follicles. Uh, that is called graphene follicle, graphene follicle. It includes the ovum inside it and it has a fluid and it has a fluid and membrane to protect the ovum inside, okay, and to nourish the ovum. And we can notice that there are blood vessels that um, uh, transport uh, uh, blood with oxygen, okay, and food for the ovary to be uh, to work well. And uh, after that after releasing the ovum, this graphene follicle changes into corpus lithium. As we notice that yellow body, this is a corpus lithium. Corpus lithium, after that, if there is no uh, uh, fertilization, it will degenerate, it will degenerate, and a new follicle, primary follicle, will begin to grow again, okay? This is the TS in the ovary, okay? Um, after that, the stages of genesis, we can talk about the stages of genesis. Um, as uh, you uh, uh, told for uh, previous session, uh, Ms. Fatma uh, talked about the uh, spermatogenesis. The same is happening in the female stages of genesis. This process passes by three important stages. First, multiplication phase. Second, growth phase. Third is maturation phase. Okay, so we have here three processes. First one, like in the male, okay, multiplication phase. This is for increases the number of the cells, okay, that will form the ovum, okay and increase the, the size of this cells. Okay, so the multiplication phase in which meiosis or mitosis division here is mitotic division, mitotic division. Why? Because mitotic division, you know that it increases the number and the size of this cells. Okay, and it take place in the primary germ cells. There is primary germ cells in the testis, in the female, there are primary germ cells in the female wall uh, over okay so uh, the primary germ cells uh, it it is a diploid and it, uh, it is uh, its division is mitosis so it will divide into 
cells called oogenia, oogenia, and this cell, this cells are have diploid. Okay, so all of them up till now they are diploid. All of them to n have the same uh, number of chromosomes, double number of chromosomes. After that, this phase multiplication increases the number of uh, cells. Okay, increases the number of cells. After that, the second phase is growth phase. And this is growth phase, uh, is a uh, second phase in which Eugenia uh, diploid store an amount of food, amount of cytoplasm, okay, increases in size. This is by mitosis and transform it into another cell called primary oocyte. Okay, and they are diploid, all of them diploid, because we work here with mitotic division. Okay, so this phase occurs in embryo. First phase and second phase multiplication and the growth phase. Imagine that it uh, occurs only in the embryo when the female is embryo. Okay, and they only give primary oocyte by mitotic division. Okay. The third uh, phase and the last one is maturation phase. Remember it by maturation of the female, maturation age, okay? That I told you before, from 12 to 15 years old, the maturation phase take place uh, in which primary oocyte, the primary oocyte, will divide by first meiotic division. So I said primary and first, okay, meiotic division. And it will divide into secondary oocyte. This is another type of cells. It's called secondary oocyte. And one non-bolar or uh, one bolar body, bolar body, okay? So the primary oocyte will divide by meiosis one into two cells. One of them is called secondary oocyte and the other is called first bolar body okay and in this stage the 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 division will arrested or stop in this uh, phase of meiosis okay will arrested or stop uh, meiosis uh, meiosis uh, one okay and uh, meiosis one uh, uh, meiosis two will not complete unless the uh, fertilization is happening for the ovum to complete meiosis two for the secondary oocyte. So secondary oocyte arrested in the meiosis two and not completed unless the fertilization happened by a sperm to complete meiosis two to produce second bolar body and fertilized egg, okay? So the third phase is maturation phase. It, is, it, 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 uh, it begins with primary oocyte, diploid, and divide by first meiotic into secondary oocyte and one bolar body. And arrested in this phase or stop in this phase, up till the fertilization happen by a sperm, and this the first here cell is the uh, uh, haploid has a uh, half number of chromosome is secondary oocyte. Secondary oocyte. This is the first cell that has haploid number of chromosomes. Okay, and this arrested in the meiosis two. Okay, after that the secondary oocyte is divided only by uh, that I told you, uh, fertilization is happening and it produces second bullet body and the fertilized egg, okay? So this is the, uh, this is the stages or uh, phases for oogenesis, okay? So we f first begin with primary germ cells and it is diploid and it make mitosis division to increase the number of cells 
uh, and they give rise to ogenia, okay, diploid. This ogenia uh, or this phase is called this phase um, is called multiplication phase. After that growth growth phase is the second phase in which ogenia diploid will uh, divide by mitosis and increase the size of the cells into first oocyte, okay, diploid. And from here, we will begin the last phase maturation by meiosis division. First oocyte will make first meiosis as second oocyte, the first haploid cell and one bolar body. This bolar body may be degenerate or divide into another two bolar bodies, but all of them will degenerate at last. After that, th this will be arrested or stop in the female, okay, in meiosis uh, one, and do not complete meiosis two unless fertilization is happened by a sperm and they divide by meiosis two, second side divide by meiosis two into bolar body, okay, and the egg or the ovum haploid number of chromosomes, okay. So we have in the last three bolar bodies will die and one only egg. So the difference here between genesis and the spermatogenesis in the spermatogenesis in the, in, in the male, they give rise into divide into four spermis, four spermis, one cell divide into four spermis. But here one cell only divide into three polar bodies degenerate and one only ovum one will be mature after that. OK, so this is the difference between spermatogenesis and oogenesis. We know that the fertilization of the ovum uh, and the number of spermis affect the fertilization. We know that the ovum structure, it contains cytoplasm from inside and the nucleus. This is a nucleus and the cytoplasm okay, around it. It is involved with the uh, coat or membrane held together by an acid. It's called hyaluronic acid, hyaluronic acid, okay? This acid is affected by the enzyme from the sperm as uh, you studied a previous session, okay, in the male, is uh, sperm produces from acrosome enzyme called hyaluronidase enzyme, hyaluronidase enzyme, okay? This enzyme from the sperm, from its acrosome, will dissolve the membrane of the ovum, okay? and they dissolve the hyaluronic acid and the membrane will be opened for the sperm to enter its head and the neck, okay, inside the ovum to be fertilized with the nucleus inside the sperm, okay, with the nucleus, uh, with the nucleus of the ovum and this is called fertilization. This is called fertilization, okay. Therefore, there must be millions of sperm, okay, uh, required to penetrate the ovum, millions of sperm. The number of sperm must be from 500, 300 to 500 millions, okay, 300 to 500 millions of sperm to be fertile male, fertile male, okay, but less than 20 million of sperms the male will be infertile. Akim can't um, can't make fertilization for the female ovum. Okay, so the number is uh, the number of spermis affect the fertilization process. Okay, so we have here enzyme called hyaluronidase enzyme from the sperm dissolve hyaluronic acid in the coat of the ovum. Okay. Um, the changes that occur for the female genital system, because the female, uh, where the female was uh, an embryo, then uh, in uh, at, at birth uh, it has uh, its ovary 
and a genital system will change in the maturation age okay, of the female. When the female approaches maturity at the age of 12 to 15 years old, there is a, a monthly rhythmic changes takes place in this uh, part of the female reproductive system. We call it ovarian cycle and uterine cycle. Ovarian from the ovary changes in, inside the ovary, thyroid بتحصل في الأوفري, and uterine uh, cycle and the changes of the uterus, thyroid بتحصل في الرحم, تمام? This such activities uh, with the fertilization, نحصل هنا إخصاب, pregnancy, if there is pregnancy or non-pregnancy, and after that, there is, if there is no pregnancy, uh, something called menstruation or the period, it happens in this cycle. Okay, so we have now fertilization after that, pregnancy or non pregnancy. If there is no pregnancy, it uh, menstruation will take place. Okay, there is um, a stage in the female age is called menopause. Bows stop. Okay, mean bows means the stop of uh, uh, ovulation. Okay, in the female, and this is takes place in the age of 45 to 50 years. 45 to 50 years. بيحصل عندها حاجة اسمها سن الياس. من 45 to 50 uh, uh, years, the ovaries become inactive and wrinkled. Okay, بينكمش. ويبقى inactive for secretion of hormones بيبقى عنده عدم القدرة على إنتاج الهرمون اللي هما الإستروجين والبروجسترون and uh, they are decreased and the uterine lining becomes wrinkled وبيحصل انكماش للرحم so the female can't uh, make ovulation or fertilization or pregnancy okay this time is called the menopause um, the breeding cycle is uh, the cycle or the period where the ovary becomes regularly active in adult female. And this is uh, the stage of the female age in which the uh, ovary becomes active, okay, regularly active in adult female. And uh, this is for only mammals that has placenta so in the life of placental mammals mashima الكائنات اللي عندها مشيمة, placental mammals so they have breeding cycles okay for example in dogs in uh, cats uh, lion uh, rats uh, rabbits human okay they are called the breeding cycle this is a period of uh, ovary becomes regularly active okay بيحصل فيها in المبيض بيبقى active نشط عشان يشتغل ويحصل uh, fertilization and pregnancy. This cycle is periodic. Periodic means uh, rhythmical, monthly or yearly or after many months. Okay, this cycle is periodic and coincides with the sexual function of mating. And بيبقى معاها الميتنج بيحصل في الفترة ديت. And reproduction, we have tafasur and pregnancy. So this is known breeding cycle. So the breeding cycle is a cycle, uh, or is a periodic cycle, okay, which connected with sexual function of mating and reproduction. In this period of uh, cycle, differ from uh, organ organisms to another organisms. For example, in a lion and tiger, they are annual. Annual means سنويًا. تمام؟ بيتم ال breeding cycle only once per year. مرة واحدة في السنة. Lion and tiger. Okay. But in cats and dogs, for example, there are two cycles per year. بيبقى في مرتين لل breeding cycle في السنة. They can mate and reproduce. But in uh, some or organisms such as rats, mice and rabbits, you know that they frequently per month. Okay, so the number uh, of rats and rabbits increases per month. Okay, because they can reproduce and mate per month. Okay, so we have here uh, different uh, different 
time for breeding cycle in organisms. Uh, the ministerial cycle or the breeding cycle for human breeding cycle for human female is called the menstrual cycle. Menstrual cycle means breeding cycle in human female. OK, this is the breeding cycle. So a typical menstrual cy cycle for the female, its time is about 28 days, 28 days. OK, Bil, uh, in which two ovaries, two ovaries alternate with each other to produce mature ovum. That means the first or the right ovary will produce ovum this month. So the second month, the left ovary will produce another ovum. OK, so the term for the right one, it will be uh, after 50 six days again low el ovary or el mabiad el yemin talla ovum bad 28 yom the left ovary el or mabiad el shimal hay talla el ovum el tanya fi el shahr el tani tamam fa hanarja tani lel mabiad el awalani el huwa el first ovary will be reduced after 28 and the 28 so it, it will be 56 days from the same ovary okay so they alternate the production of ovum from each other alternately per month uh, it is divided into three phases as following it is divided in three phases okay first phase is called proliferation proliferation this proliferation is uh, in uh, the female ovary, okay, in which the anterior loop of pituitary, do you remember pituitary gland? And it uh, produces from its anterior loops. Hormone is called FSH, F stimulating hormone. This hormone stimulates few follicles develop in the ovary to form graphene follicle around the OK. So if we look here. In this picture, this is a graphene follicle, graphene follicle. So the primary follicle here, OK, proliferation uh, when the FSH secreted from the anterior part of the pituitary gland. Uh, we know that this is endocrine gland, so the, this hormones will move or transport with blood to the ovary. OK, so when it reaches ovary, it will develop follicle or glowing follicle around the ovum. OK, this is called graphene follicle. This is called graphene follicle around the ovum this is for fo this follicle secretes hormones such as estrogen this is from estradiol hormones uh, female hormones okay estrogen and this uh, affect the uh, uterus of the female and begins thickening the uterus of the female uterus rahim if that is dead by the estrogen hormone that's secreted from graphene follicle, OK? After that, uh, the, it takes about 10 days. This uh, phase proliferation takes about 10 days, OK? 10 days, and the graphical, graphene follicle grows and the ovum mature inside it by uh, fluid that nourish the ovum and they protect it. So, the anterior loop of the pituitary begins to secrete FSH that stimulate few follicle develop to develop the follicle, graphene follicle in the ovary around the ovum and the ovary and the follicle, uh, uh, graphene follicle will secrete estrogen hormone in the blood, stimulate the growth of the uterus endometrium, okay, the, uh, the, the inside uh, or the inner membrane of the uterus. Okay, so the graphene follicle grows and the ovum mature inside 
uh, eight for 10 days, for 10 days, okay? After uh, the phase of proliferation, there is another phase is called ovulation, ovulation, okay? And this ovulation uh, takes place in uh, after 10 days, okay? The uh, ovulation uh, take place in the day 14 day 14 we said that uh, the 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 uh, menstrual cycle 28 days okay 10 days of them for proliferation and in the half of the cycle for us el patra dia fil 14 14 day uh, the ovulation occur in which ovulation in which anterior loop of the pituitary LH, do you remember LH from the uh, chapter two hormones? Luteinizing hormone LH uh, increases in uh, 14th day, which stimulate the ovum to liberate or um, get out from the graphene follicle and form ovary uh, from the ovary and uh, from fallopian tube and move in the fallopian tube and move to where this uterus. Okay, فاللي بيحصل هنا في ال ال ovulation في اليوم ال 14 ال ال H بي بيحصل له زيادة فبالتالي بيحصل stimulation لل ovum عشان يحصل لها liberate or get out from the graphene follicle and from the ovary to the fallopian tube. Okay, uh, in in such phase, uh, graphene change into another one. This is the uh, do you remember? This is not the ovum, this is the secondary oocyte, secondary oocyte. And we said that after fertilization, it will be ovum, okay? But it release secondary oocyte in each month, okay? This is called ovulation and it happens in uh, day 14 of the month. After that, the follicle will rupture and it changes into corbis lithium, the yellow body, corbis lithium. This is the yellow body, and it is um, uh, it secretes another hormone is called progesterone. It secretes both of them, estrogen and progesterone. Okay, so the LH is the reason for releasing ovum and the change of follicle, graphene follicle, into corbis lithium. Okay, you have literally two functions here, the releasing ovum and the change graphene follicle into corbis lithium. But corbis lithium secretes uh, a progesterone and a progesterone and estrogen. So they increase the thickening of endometrium. So it will, if there is pregnancy or not, so it depends on uh, fertilization. Um, uh, this progesterone hormone uh, has function here is increase the thickness of endometrium and its blood supply. So uh, if there is a baby, it will feed by this uh, food from the uh, blood of the endometrium and then stop the ovulation, stop the ovulation or inhibits the ovulation. So there is no another ovum will released again. Okay. So the time of this phase lasts for 14 days, 14 days. So the ovulation lasts for 14 days, proliferation lasts for 10 days, okay? So there is a, a, about four for uh, two, five days. This is the last phase of uh, menstruation. Uh, menstruation. If the ovum is not fertilized, now, ما حصلش هنا إخصاب. The corpus luteum degenerate gradually, and uh, secretion of progesterone will stop because we said that corpus luteum secretes progesterone and estrogen. So, if the corpus luteum is degenerated, so no progesterone and no thickening in endometrium, so it will degenerate the endometrium and the blood vessels will tear due to the successive contractions of the uterus. So, the ministerial Bleeding takes a place and the new cycle will begin after 
the uh, finish of bleeding, okay, or the end of bleeding. The other uh, ovary begins to make another uh, uh, menstrual cycle. Uh, time of this phase menstruation is about three to five days, or uh, medium is uh, four days. So it takes place in this uh, bar. Uh, this is a diagram for hormones of uh, pituitary gland and hormones of uh, ovary and uh, the follicle growth of follicle and the uh, uterus uh, cycle or the uh, endometrium growth. OK, if we look here in the first diagram, we can notice that the green line is FSH. When FSH increases, it will give positive feedback for the ovary to develop graphene follicle as we uh, see here uh, graphene follicle will increase okay and increase in size and then fsh will decrease the lh will increase and uh, we said before before the for, uh, day 14 okay lh increases and then uh, the ovulation happens okay in this day 14 and it will release the ovum from here and we said that it is called secondary oocyte okay and uh, this is a positive feedback for lh to release this is ovulation uh, if the fsh decrease lh increase and then the graphene follicle will form is or transform into yellow body is called the corbis lithium this corbis lithium well, uh, or this uh, phase of ovulation lasts for 14 days, okay, for 14 to 28. So the corpus lithium degenerate if there is no uh, fertilization. And there are two hormones are produced in the ovary. We, uh, as we said, the first one is estrogen, and it is uh, secreted from graphene follicle. OK, graphene follicle will uh, secrete estrogen that increase the thickening of the endometrium in the uterus. OK, um, after that, the progesterone is secreted from carbous lithium and it increases the thickening of endometrium. OK, so uh, in these days, the endometrium will increase in its thickness. OK, uh, after that. The uh, the day is from. First day to fifth day, as we said, there is ministerial phase, ministerial phase in which endometrium will or uh, uterus wall will degenerate and the, uh, the, the blood vessels will degenerate and making bleeding in this uh, days. OK, after it has finished, it will begin another uh, cycle from the other ovary. So if we compare here uh, the, the, the day, the hormones uh, FSH and it will increase the uh, development of graphene follicle that will uh, secrete estrogen that will increase the endometrium. After that, LH from the pituitary gland will uh, release ovum from uh, the graphene follicle and change it into corpus lithium. And the uh, corpus lithium will uh, produce progesterone and estrogen will increase the thickening of endometrium. Uh, after that, the endometrium will lose its thickening in the ministerial phase when the progesterone is decreased. OK, we have video for this. Part for ministerial cycle. First, the uterus well grows in pregnant, lining in the material. This 
this is mystery bleeding four men three to five And ministerial is 28 day one. First day of the period here and second third eight. As we say here, the ovaries to ovaries, each side and the lobby leads to the and day 14 the ovary leads the ovary and the moon of the end so the lining increases and if there is a position of when you plant here and the line if not fertilize it the egg will dissolve and complete the cabin and ministration. OK. Um, now we want to uh, answer some questions and hell a little bit of questions Bank Al Marifa. OK. Uh, first question here, in which of the following stages can cells be found in a healthy infant ovary? In healthy infant means embryo. OK, we said that it stops in the first meiosis. It called mm, primary oocysts. Primary oocysts. OK, second question. What structure form is in the ovary? What structure forms in the ovary every month after ovulation has occurred? Every month after ovulation has occurred. We said that the structure that is formed every month after ovulation, after ovulation, it is called the corpus luteum. Corpus luteum. After ovulation. Third question. Which process in egg development occurs in the ovary of a female embryo? Which processes in egg development in the ovary of female embryo? We said that in the female embryo, there, two, there are two phases, multiplication phase and the growth phase. While maturation occurs after that, after uh, maturation, okay? Fourth question. How many eggs or ova are produced from each cell that begins meiosis? How many eggs produced from each cell that begins meiosis? We said there are four cells, but three of them are called bolar bodies and they are degenerate and only one cell or one egg will uh, be formed. Only one egg, one egg, okay? Fifth question. What is the main function of the ciliated epithelial cells in the female reproductive system? We said that there is cilia inside hmm, the fallopian tube. So the function of this cilia for creating a current that moves the fertilized ovum toward the uterus. Toward the uterus. Okay. This happened in fallopian tube. Sixth question. How is the structure of a bowler body different from that of an ovum? Bowler body differ from the ovum. We said that the bowler body has little cytoplasm, while the ovum has large amount of cytoplasm for feeding stationary ovum. Okay, because it is stationary, doesn't move. So the bowler body has very little cytoplasm. Question number seven. A front view of uh, the human female reproductive system is shown in the figure. So the question is 
in which part are ciliated epithelial cells most abundant? If you look at the picture, which part are ciliated? Which part has cilia? We said that fallopian tube, fallopian tube. So the letter B is suitable for this answer. Okay, fallopian tube, B. Question number eight. A front view of the human female reproductive system is shown in the figure. Okay, the same figure. And the question is, which structure secretes estrogen? Which structure secretes estrogen? We said that estrogen is produced from graphene follicle and then from carbus lithium. And they are situated in the ovary. Do you remember? In the ovary. So the suitable answer will be E, ovary. Question nine. In females, when is meiosis two completed? When it is completed, we said hmm, after fertilization. If there is sperm and there is fertilization, it will, the ovum will complete its meiosis two after egg or ovum has been fertilized and it is called fertilized egg. Question number 10. A front view of the human female reproductive system is shown in the figure. And then the question is which letter on the diagram is the cervix? Cervix, this is recalling question. Cervix, we said that it is letter D. Letter D, this is the cervix. Question number 11. Regarding a genesis, which of the following structure is not haploid? Means diploid, not haploid. Take care. Not haploid means diploid. Okay. We said that polar body is diploid, uh, uh, sorry, uh, haploid, and the ovum haploid, secondary oocyte haploid. Okay. Only the primary oocyte is the diploid, diploid. So the answer will be C. Okay. Question 12. During genesis, at which phase do genia transform into primary cysts? During genesis, in which phase do genia transform into primary site? We said this is in the phase of growth. Phase of growth, the genia will transform into primary site by mitosis division. Question 13. During genesis, at which phase do genia transform into primary site? In which phase, at which phase do genia? Uh, maturation phase. During genesis, at which phase Eugenia transform into primary side? We, th we said that uh, growth, this question, question 13. In genesis, what is the outcome of the maturation phase? Maturation phase, the outcome of maturation phase, a result is three polar bodies and ovum. Okay, maturation phase means meiosis one and meiosis two. At which stage of genesis does a polar body form? Which stage? We said that at maturation, maturation phase, the genesis give the polar body. Okay, polar body in maturation phase of meiosis. Question 15, during the stages of genesis, how is the primary oocyte formed? How is the primary oocyte Formed, we said that it is formed by mitotic division of eugenin. Primary by mitotic from eugenin. Okay, the answer will be A. Question 16, what is the correct order of the stages of eugenesis? We said that there are three stages, multiplication, growth, and maturation. So the suitable answer will be letter B, multiplication, growth, and maturation. 
Question 17. What happens to the follicle after the release of an ovum? What will happen for the follicle after release of an ovum? We said that follicle will transform it into corpus luteum. The follicle is transformed into corpus luteum by the effect of LH hormone. Question 18. Which of the following acids is found around the ovum? We said that hyaluronic acid, hyaluronic acid. Question 19. At what age does menopause occur? We said that menopause, it's time between 45 and 50 years of age of the female. The letter A is the answer. Question 20. Which of the following is true about menopause? Menopause, we said that the ovaries become very active. No, during the menopause, the phase that occurs during the early uh, 30s in the females. No, the female hormone secretions increase dramatically. No, none of the answers are correct. D. Question 21. What other name is given to the oviduct? We said that it is called fallopian tube. Question 22. Which of the following is true about the female genital system? We said it has or consists of two fallopian tubes, two ovaries, and only one uterus and one vagina. The letter D is suitable answer. What is the function of the part label C? In the diagram, C, this part, we said that a function, its function, it moves this fallopian tube, okay? So it moved the ovum toward the uterus by the contraction of its muscles and the cilia. Contraction of its muscles and cilia. Question 24. The same diagram about part label C. Following is true about the label bar uh, C. Label bar C is the fallopian tube. So hmm, it is lined with cilia. Yes, it is correct. It is called the fallopian tube. Yes, it is correct. It has funnel shaped opening. Yes, it is correct. So all of the answers are correct. Letter C is perfect answer. The last question 25. In humans, which of the following terms refers to the process in which a diploid cell eventually gives rise to four haploid cells, where only one of them develops into mature, mature egg cell or ovum? This is called oogenesis, and it has three stages, as we said. This is the last question and the last of this, this session. Thank you very much for your attention. See you later. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.